Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Success Life Live. My name is Eric Reed, and I'm glad you took time to jump in and join us. Um, I often know that I often know. Good morning, Wendy. Ah, so nice to have you. Happy evening. Um, I was going to say, I often know. I know that it often takes. Good morning, Sylvia. We'll be doing your questions tomorrow. Good morning, one. Um, that it takes a minute for the room to warm up or Facebook to connect to y'all or to do the thing that it does. So good morning, each and every one of you as you step in. Good morning, Joe. Julia. I saw Sylvia and Julie, Julia come together and I had to like somehow manage to bring the two into the same word. Good morning, Dennis. Good morning, Nelly. Good to have you guys in the room. Um, I want to talk about that meme that I posted a little earlier this morning, be responsible for the energy you bring into the world or into the space. It's a pretty common quote, but I wanted to remind us of it anyhow. Good morning, Greg. Good to have you here as well. Don't forget, today is Tuesday, newsletter day. Um, you can subscribe through the link above. Fun Friend Friday is coming up on Friday. And yes, I'm leaning over here. Still leaning. Our, our guest is um, Jesse Cruz. I know his book is backwards. Uh, Live Your Dash. Really enjoying this. So we're going to have a lot to talk about on Friday for Fun Friend Friday. And then Q&A Wednesday. And then the podcast goes out on Thursday. So we just stay busy. So the quote, you're responsible for the energy you bring into the room or please be responsible you bring into the energy into the room. It's really um, sort of Oprah gets credit for it even though it goes to a doctor and I forgot her name but she had had a stroke and she had gained a lot of insight. There's a great TED talk and she re understood that the energy that people brought into the room as she was in her recovery really affected her healing and then Oprah saw it and started saying that you know that was what she wanted to set as the intention, uh, thank you, Sylvia, um, for her team and her office. So the energy you bring in to the room, to the space, or as I said it, to the connection point, take responsibility for it. So responsibility or respond from your abilities, responsibility as I break it down. How often are you just responding to the environment. You go into work, everybody's complaining because there's no coffee. You start complaining, the day goes crappy. Or you go to meet a friend and they're late and guess what, you're all angry, et cetera, et cetera. We so often respond to the energy based on situations around us or sometimes situation and people. Whereas what would happen if you shifted it? If you started to take responsibility, like, you know what? This room is in a funk and it's my responsibility to shift it. This team is starting to drag, it's my responsibility to shift it. This family is starting to complain and whine and mope, it's my responsibility to shift it. So as an example, so often we take a trip to our family in Virginia, it's about a six hour drive. That's like my limit by the way. Six hours and three minutes, you're gonna see me jumping out the window. Well, often about the five hour mark, when the kids know it's almost done, but it's not quite done, that energy begins to go. Like they begin to complain. They get, And that's about when the time I have to create one of my stupid games, one of dad's stupid games. I have to take responsibility for what's going on in that car. I gotta shift the energy because it's gonna be torturous for all of us if I let that take over. And so I'll be like, okay, how can I shift this? What is the attitude? What is the feelings I want to create? Joy, happiness, excitement, fun, loving, adventure, boom, got the energy, got the thought, got, go, move. The same thing happens when I look at the connection points on my calendar. I'll say, what is the energy? What is the thought? What do I want to be responsible and remembered for as being responsible for when I walk into this connection point? I don't often get a second chance to do it. This is a Facebook Live. If I waited to see your energy and then calculated it and then figured it out and then reset it and then moved on, the, the moment would be lost. So when I wake up, before the energy of the world sort of impacts me, before people start to set me up for what I need to do, 
I say, okay, what is the energy I want to bring into the universe today? What is the energy I want to bring into each and every connection point? Whether it's a connection point with a person or an event, what is the energy? Like if I could be known as the guy that when he walks out of the room, boom, man, that guy brings the energy of joy or happiness or understanding or peace or kindness or optimism. You know, I sort of think our energy is like, you know, that cologne that some people wear that, you know, long after they're gone, it's still in the room. And I'll tell you, there's some people with that wears perfume or cologne that I wish they never entered the room. And then other people, you sort of follow the trail because it's so pleasant and it brings back happy memories or whatever. You have to take responsibility for the energy you bring into the room. And the best way to do that is to do it before you begin to go into the room. If you're getting ready to walk into the house at the end of a long day, take a minute, sit in the car, whatever it is, on the bus, during the train, say, when I walk in the door, I'm going to be responsible for bringing this home with me, this energy, this thought, this feeling, this vibration. When you're driving into work this morning and you're sitting in the parking lot, take a moment and say, I'm going to be responsible for bringing this into my workplace today. And the 11 o'clock meeting or the 2 o'clock interview or whatever, I'm going to be responsible for bringing this energy into the room. Take responsibility for your energy. Understand that you are radiating it long before you actually come into contact with that person in that moment. And so you can't sit there and try and figure it out when you're there. Take responsibility for the energy you bring into the world today. Stop reacting. Stop calculating. Stop holding it back. Stop trying to figure out what it's going to be about. Know who you are and what the energy and the vibration you want to set. We all know Marilyn, uh, Melanie Massey, the great artist. Um, I remember at one point I was going to do a day in my daughter's room. I know, isn't this just really sad? You can all mock me later. Um, and it was a day, my daughter's in a special ed class and it was sort of like a parent day, work day in the classroom. And Melanie works with kids with special needs and physical therapy and things like that. And I was like, oh God, I'm so dreading this. And she's like, why? Like, you get to hang out with your daughter for the day. And I was like, yeah, but those kids, they just so drain me and I don't understand them. And I'm sometimes confused about which kids, because there's autism, which kids I can touch, which kids. And I just, it's just, I just struggled to navigate the space. And she's like, don't go. I'm like, what? And she's like, with that energy, you'd be better off staying at home. You're only going to follow that energy trail into the room and amplify it. I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? And she kind of yelled at me and gave me a counseling and said, sit down, figure out this energy, dude. Figure out what you want the kids to experience about you and about your relationship. And like, how could you set the energy right now? before you even get in the car to drive to the school. And so I said, okay, I want the kids to have fun. I want them to be relaxed. I want to be relaxed. I want to laugh. I want to, you know, and I sort of said it. Lo and behold, guess what happened? I had a good time. I've been back a bunch of times. I am now the official best dad that comes to the family event, kid room activity things. Because I'm down on the floor. I'm doing what the kids want to do. I'm participating. But I had to learn how to to release that negative energy, to release my fears and egos and doubts and insecurities, to re make room for the energy that I wanted to become. You have to get out of you in order to get into who you can become. And so I just encourage you today. I encourage you this week. I challenge you. There's a little bit of an exercise down below. Look at your day. Look at your calendars. We talk about this over and over and over again, that living life with success is about living life fully engaged. Figure out how you want to connect to each of those points today. What the energy is that you want to arrive at. That even if you didn't show up, that energy would already take place. And the room and the people and the events would benefit from what you sent. All right, all right, you guys got this. I know you got this. Tomorrow, Q&A Wednesday, send your cues, I'll do the A part. 
Today's newsletter day, if you haven't signed up, go ahead and subscribe, it'll pop up. Fun Friend Friday with Jesse is coming up. If you want to know more about Jesse, there is a little blog or bio over on the Medium site, which is also up above as well. So start following on Medium. I'm doing more blogging over there because actually it raises my writing skill and I write less, but I write better, I think. I don't know, we'll see, because it is in a writer's community. And so I challenge myself to be around people that are doing what I really want to do at a different level. So I encourage you to do the same. So with all that energy, let's go forth. Energy is everything. Energy is everything. Exactly, Kelly. Energy is everything. It's not like this concept that exists outside of us. Like the candy bar you ate is breaking down and becoming sugar and transforming into energy, which is transferring into thoughts, which is transferring into physical um, experiences, which is causing you to interact and be around other people, that we are energy beings held together by a thought. And that thought comes from divine, but that idea that we are, it's all energy. You know, I, Kelly, you made me step out of my thinking. So my son and I the other day were doing our little dad run walk, and he said something about how is it that the flash is able to go through things. Like if you're not a Marvel Comics person, you don't understand that the Flash gets vibrating so fast that he can walk through walls now. That's the newest addition to Flash's superpowers. I said, well, we're all just energy. He's like, what? I said, and he's able to control his energy and get it get vibrating at such a rate that the molecules can separate long enough for him to go, to the, uh, go through the wall. And then when he gets to the other side of the wall, he slows down his energy and it comes back together. And he said, oh, and we went through the science experiment of liquids to gases, to vapors and things like that. And he saw the whole connection. He's like, I should be able to go that fast. I'm like, I don't know, maybe you should work on it. I know, gotta have the fun too. I'm a marble freak. Um, so energy is everything. What is the vibration that you're walking around today? When did you set it? How are you focusing it? Could you shift it in such a way that you could walk through walls? Just a thought. Just a thought. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for another Success Life Live. Till then, go out and live your energy. Go out and live the success that was already flashed into you. Not the flash. Have grandsons. Yes. Captain America still rocks, so. Um, Go out and live your energy. Go out and live your life with success. It is yours. It has been gifted to you, and you are worthy to receive it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.